Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This is a Lenovo IdeaPad Pad, Idea 33-15AST. The model name is an 81D6. That information can be found in the BIOS or on the bottom on the sticker. In this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can remove, add or upgrade the RAM on these laptops. I see many people keep asking me in the task manager it shows one out of two slots available and uh, why when they open it they don't see it and I'll cover down what's the maximum RAM capacity that they can have in here. Depending on your processor that you have in here, the RAM capacity varies. Uh, the RAM capacities are really different for every CPU and motherboard. So I made a short video where you can check your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop. Check that link in the video description so you know how much you can put. We have upgraded this laptop to a 16 gig with no problem. And in this video, I'm just gonna take you on a step-by-step -step how to get to that upgrade. All right, first thing first, you wanna power off the computer. Don't leave it on standby or anything like that. Power it off completely. And then you wanna flip it upside down. And on down here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. We're gonna grab ourselves a screwdriver set. I use the Arctic screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. Here we're gonna be using a Phillips number one. Also, if I think it's yes, Phillips number one. Also, if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and powers. All right, with these two on here, we're gonna get it started. So starting from one corner, remove all the screws, the ones in the middle, and keep them in one single pile. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. All right, now that we remove all the screws, we're gonna put it in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. All right. Now, we're first we're gonna remove this empty caddy for the DVD drive. All right, and the bad thing about this one is if they don't even give you a separate face plate, so even if you buy a DVD drive, there's a connector in there to make it use out of it, but the face plate, you will be like really ugly. So I don't know why they didn't give you a face plate. Anyway. Once you remove the screws, you want to open up the laptop a little bit. You want to stick the opening to get the guitar pick between the palm rest and the bottom cover. Just squeeze it right there, about two or three millimeters. And then you just want to twist it like this. And you want to hear those big click sounds. That's what you want to hear. You want to do this every one or two centimeters all around in the front. And then you want to do the side in the corners, right under the DVD drive right here and you want to go to the back corner in here same thing in the back right here you don't need to do the grill side on the on the screen in here go to other side do that side once you did the left where the io no just the dvd drive and the front and the corner backs then you just want to lift it up bring it up and push it towards the rj45 side that way you can release this USB port through here. All right, so there's your bottom cover. All right, down here we can see obviously there's only one RAM DIMM available. Even if your task manager says two or three or four, you only have one RAM DIMM. There's no two RAM DIMMs available on this laptop. There's no space on the other side of the board for a second slot. There's a, some miscommunication between the framework of the BIOS and the Windows that it shows that there's a two RAM a slot but there isn't now to upgrade the ram or remove the ram you do not need to disconnect the battery is absolutely not necessary but if for those paranoid people that want to do it you have to pull this tiny black jack backward to disconnect it and that is kind of hard or the other one will be to remove the three screws for the battery and slide the connector backward but to do ram upgrade you don't right to remove the ram all you need to do is to put your fingers on the side of these triggers and then pull them away and the ram will come out in 45 degree angle just like that 
And all you want to do is just grab it and slide backward on the same direction. Don't yank it towards the ceiling, otherwise you'll break the RAM or the DIMM. Just slide it back and it will come. These are a DDR4 8 gig. You can grab a 16 gig DDR4 and make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the DIMM. So if I put it the other way around, it will not go through. So I bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connector. And then simply you just want to push it towards the motherboard. And you're going to see these two triggers open and closed. I will make a soft click sound. All right. Once you have the new RAM in there, you, what you want to do, you want to grab the bottom cover, bring it up, put the back side, hook it in the hinge side down, push down, push the corner in the front and the side on the DVD drive. You want to hear those click sounds. That's what you want to hear. If you see any opening, just pinch them together and it will go back to its place. I slide down the DVD drive in there and the last thing would be to just put the bottom screws on the cover. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And this is how you can upgrade the RAM for your Lenovo IdeaPad 330-15 AST model. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws. I will power off the power on the laptop so you guys can see that it powers on. For those people that they think like, no, this laptop is not gonna power on. Just because I didn't remove the battery. And also you don't need to ground yourself or anything like that. I don't have any bracelet on my foot or on my arms. So yeah, open it up. And if you see any gap opening, just pinch them. I'll power on, I'll keep tapping on F2, F1 to go to the BIOS or to the, and there we go. Let me see. There we go, and we have our 8 gig. So you can put your 16 gig in there and it will work fine. The product name, Lenovo IdeaPad 330-15AST. And that should cover up today's video.